Aries, hello. Welcome to a tarot reading for you today during the month of August. Aries, tarot, month of August. Okay. With yours truly, Scorpio Spy. Thank you guys for joining. If you're looking for your Spy Spread tarot reading, feel free to check the August playlist. It is updated pretty frequently. You should find it in the description or in the comments below. Thank you very much. Okay, for Aries, during the month of August, how can we serve what is a matter of importance for aries during the month of august we got a dropper here transgression why bottom of the deck supernatural inexplicable miraculous otherworldly uh five of wands okay there's someone who is at a distance here or Somehow, some way, there's some form of um, incomplete, I want to say incomplete conversation, whatever that means. Maybe that means you guys have not had a, a certain amount of clarity as it's felt by this person, whatever that is. But there's a, there's some sort of struggle to like get in contact or to like clear the air or, um, yeah, make something clear. It's like, I just want to talk to you again. That's what I'm getting. I, I just want to talk to you. Don't ignore me. Someone feels ignored or like their needs are being ignored. Something of this sort is going on. I'm definitely getting a five of wands right there for some reason. Um, we are definitely going to pull though. For Aries on the left, this is a two-person spread. Partner B here is going to be anybody in your environment. It doesn't have to be love but we're gonna see what comes out. Show me Aries, please, show me Aries energy. And then we're gonna ask questions like how they feel or see you and what their intentions are and some outcomes, throw some Oracle on that at the end there. All right, Aries, please. Druid, Aries. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I did this in a Libra reading. What the heck? Give me a sec. All right. All right. There's something about you currently that you are exhibiting um, the higher font and the Queen of Pentacles energy. So this feels like a very stable and grounded energy. From what I'm seeing, it looks like you are actually trying to obtain more stability in your life. Now, this could be attain more. It could be through finance or some form of security. Some of you, this is you considering some sort of relationship here, what it means, what it can become. And I just see you analyzing this for some reason. Eight of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Is somebody married? Someone here could be married or there's some sort of holdup with a relationship here because maybe there's other people involved. Obviously that is not everybody, but I'm definitely seeing some sort of strain on a relationship that you could be feeling here. It's like you're up in your head about your commitment with this person. Maybe this is like non-traditional or someone is receiving more than the other person. So it feels like there's, there's an imbalance between you and someone here and a lack of, um, commitment. Maybe this is a unique type of relationship that you're analyzing. I feel like you're analyzing this. You're like, what does this mean? What am I going to do with this? Um, what do they want with me? What do I want with them kind of thing? That's just what I'm saying. Well, maybe the cards can help us find that out. Why don't we pull for partner B here? See what they have to say. Someone's in their head about this. Are you overthinking this or are they... This is, I'm getting a distinct feeling that you're looking at a situation here, Aries, where someone is, are they like receiving from someone else in their environment? It's like you're trying to understand if they're receiving from someone else in their environment or let's say 
Are they flirting with that person too? Or it's kind of like, why are people so nice to my person? Because I don't know, are you questioning their relationships around them? There's something amiss there. That's just what I'm seeing. It could be through work or... Hmm. It's almost like maybe they have a, a like, let's say they have a friend like of the opposite gender and it's a little bit inappropriate or you're trying to understand it if, if it is. Something like that is what I'm seeing for some of you. <laughs> All right. Partner B. Not everybody. Partner B. Show us partner B, please. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Three of Cups, Four of Cups. Okay, what's up with this Four of Cups? Mm. Something about a relationship is coming to light here. I feel like something about someone someone's personal relationships is coming to light here or has come to light between you and this person. This has caused some sort of disturbance. Yeah, this could be like maybe their friend circle. We do have some friend energy here, but it feels like someone here is making this situation a little tricky, okay? Or at least that's, that's how someone is feeling this. There's like some questions around who this person has around them and why, I guess, okay? Um, it's almost to that point where, oh, is that why you don't want a full-blown commitment here? Is it because there's other people? Or is it because you're flirting with somebody? There's something about that, guys, okay? I don't know why, it just is. Partner B here has this Eight of Wands. This looks like someone who... First of all, I have to say this, they're coming out as a page of pentacles and you came out as a queen of pentacles with the king of pentacles and there's a blockage with your relationship with this person, right? They're saying, first of all, what I meant to say was this is a less mature energy. So they're seeing this relationship a little bit differently or it's vice versa. One of you is seeing this as potential to be more um, stable. The other person is not. Now, I could also just say that this person is coming at this from a very, um, from a less invested point of view at this time. I mean, there is some form of investment, but the Queen of Pentacles here does exude more like professional energy or more serious energy, more stable energy. Okay. And the page is an apprentice, which is why they're kind of less mature here. So I feel like you're you're kind of wondering if it could be, if this person could be like the king of pentacles or the queen of pentacles as opposed to a page. And it feels like you're seeing some sort of immaturity here, Aries, or that they are. Whoever this is, I feel like partner A is seeing this. So partner B here could be invested in some sort of eight of wands, three of cups, meaning this is somebody who possibly has a lot of friends. Maybe they like... um hanging out with friends, possibly drinking, partying. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is just someone who, I don't know. I'm seeing like, I'm seeing like a lot of people around, like a lot of conversations with people, this kind of thing. Now, as it relates to your relationship with this person, somehow, some way, there's a sense of rejection or a feeling of rejection here. Someone is saying, hey, there's a rejection and this person doesn't want to have those important conversations with me. That's what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how you're seeing partner B here. How does Aries see partner B, please? Yeah, the Four of Cups. You're seeing them with the Four of Cups. Exactly. Do you see them as like just wanting to party or maybe they just like having a good time and other than that, they're not very stable, something of that sort, partner? How are you seeing partner B, Aries? How are you seeing them? You're seeing them with the High Priestess, Nine of Wands, the Queen of Swords. 
rebirth. This is weird. This feels like to me, it's almost like this person doesn't, it's like they're still wanting to be involved, but something just doesn't make sense about them. And when you ask them, when you question them, there's no solid answer, something of that sort. And this could be about prior wounds that this person is feeling or that you are feeling relating to them. There's something that is just not being spoken about. And there's, I feel there's a frustration here about that. You see this person as being wounded here and kind of waiting to get what they think they are, are they, that they are owed? That they that they deserve they they're like wait they're still holding on no matter how hard it gets, because they're waiting for something to come their way they're waiting for like a a change here that's how you're seeing them. Is this somebody who's trying to have some certain conversations? Mm, okay. Partner B, how are you seeing Aries? How are you seeing partner A? Some of you may feel this person is very, um, Aries, you may feel this person is very, um, like they expect a lot of things or, yeah, something of that sort. It's like they expect a lot, but maybe they don't reciprocate a lot or something like this. They're saying you with the nine of wands. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you got the tower in the bottom. <laughs> That's Mars energy. <laughs> Hello, Aries. All right. This, some, this Okay, someone here is seeing you as having a potential to get mad at them for some reason. They feel like you're going to be pissed. You're going to be angry or whatever the case. Um, you could be dealing with, by the way, we have some Sagittarius, Pisces, Libra energy. It doesn't have to matter. They feel like you're mad or you have the potential to be mad. About your relationship, about like maybe there's some form of delay here or something is not growing fast enough. This could have to do with a decision in love. So are we going to like build here or not? Because if not, I'm going to use the tower here and the tower can basically tear everything down. Okay. The thing is, you guys are boasting each other with this nine of wands. You guys are both wounded. You guys both feel that the other is wounded. You guys are probably having um, conversations that are rooted in pain. So this could cause some form of further disagreement or just some sort of irritation you guys are rubbing each other the wrong way here from what i'm seeing when you do talk because this is someone here who, i feel like you feel this person is not speaking about certain topics and you prompt them to talk about certain topics but those topics are still not clear not understood there's not a set plan there's not i don't know because we're seeing this seven of pentacles so they're seeing you as getting tired of waiting, that you're starting to think this is a waste of time. Nevertheless, you're still here, okay? And they see you as trying to make a decision as well. Okay. What is Aries' intention here with partner B, please? What is Aries' intention with partner B? Do you feel like this, one of you guys thinks the other person is like, oh, you think you know everything. You think you know everything. <laughs> Your intentions, wow. Yeah, you're like, when is this coming? The bottom of the deck, Empress energy. You're like, when is this coming? Are we going to be able to get this going or not? Or should I start looking to see what else is out there with the three of wands? It's like, okay, we either build or I'm going to see what else is out there. This is your intention here. It looks like because your intention here with this mother 
card energies, empress energy. You want some growth, some abundance, some stability, more than what's being offered right now. And it's not here for some reason, okay? That looks like to me that you are willing to choose yourself. And I mean, if you can't find it here, you can plant that seed somewhere else is what I'm seeing. So your intentions are really based off of what happens here. But I feel like you guys are, yeah, this person knows that you're kind of making a decision about this, about, see, because they're seeing you make a decision and you do have this two of pentacles. Some of you, this is about you moving somewhere else. Maybe you've moved or whatever. Wanting to travel. Partner B, what are your intentions with partner A, Aries? Okay, the tower wanted to fly out. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we have a lot of earth energy here. Well, I did mention that. And Gemini energy, okay. Partner B, what are your intentions with partner A, please? Ugh. So something is just not moving here, right? Ace of Cups, okay. Look here why don't you look at this partner B here guess what partner B's intentions is uh, a lot of love all right you got the ace of cups here and we have the star card that's you with the queen of wands and we also have the page of wands okay this is someone so this since this is you this is someone who wants to offer you some form of love okay they love you they express love to you they want to express love with you this is their intention their intention is to love you to feel good to have passion that kind of thing there's a lot of fire here i will tell you that there are emotions as well this is someone who likes to talk to you you guys have good conversations that's their intention that's what they want okay a lot of flirtation i will tell you this they're still showing up as a page this could be the problem i feel because they are not showing up you're here with a queen but they're not showing up look at that the king of cups is behind Maybe you're considering going back to someone else. Or someone is. Because I'm seeing some... We got Scorpio energy, Gemini energy, Leo energy here. Yeah, there could be a decision about this. Anyway, partner B here. They are still showing up with this page energy next to you being a queen with the star. So they feel like they want to keep you around. They love you. They do have feelings and whatever that is. But there's something about them. Maybe they're young. Okay. They could be too young. Maybe too young minded, like immature in a sense. There's something about this person that is just not the next level for you. And that's how they're showing up. So it's not like a perception. This is kind of their energy they're showing, you know, um, could be immaturity. It could be a lack of future planning. Like maybe that's what this person like then, you know, that's why they have the three of cups up here. They like to have a good time, but they don't know what else after that because they're still like young minded or young at heart, or maybe they're just young. <laughs> okay. That's just what this is from what I'm seeing. Um, Why don't we pull an outcome here for this time period and we'll throw some oracle on that. Something about this is just not being solid, I suppose. And I see that your intention here is could be to be a wife or to have some form of like the next level, whatever that is to you is different for everybody. All right, what is the outcome for this time period between partner A and B, please? What is the outcome for this time period between partner A and B? A three of pentacles, ace of cups, exactly. Um. All right, well, this could be a water. There's like some water sign in the background here somewhere. I'm telling you. I don't know why. 
I mean, it just could be emotions, but that person keeps showing up like the second card. Was that? Yeah, see? The King of Cups and the King of Cups. So I'm just like, who is that? Because it came in the same position. Um, anyway, that person has a love offer, whoever that is. So you have um, in this outcome between partner A and B here, it looks like there is someone wants like a connection. Someone wants some sort of more, like more love, more affection, more this and that, whatever. I don't necessarily see that coming in the way that it is expected here from what I can see. Aries, that's you, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, yeah. You're looking to the future. There's something else that is coming in here in your future, whether you know it or not. It could be, again, we have that water sign energy. So it's almost as though you're going to have to choose some sort of ace of cup here with um, an air sign or a fire sign, which I'm seeing Leo right here, or a water sign. Um... Some certain change is coming in here, guys. I feel like you're looking forward to a certain change here as well. Yeah, there's some sort of decision about a relationship here. Who is this? There's a change coming in the future. I'm not sure. Well, it looks like you're looking forward to it. So maybe you know about this. Someone is coming in here. I feel like you have two people coming in here, Aries. Um, and you're going to have to make a decision here about who you want your, to build your four of wands with. Because this is something that could lead to marriage. Or at least that's what you're looking for. From what I can see, page of swords. This is what you're looking for here. Someone is. So you do have some form of contract or cooperation coming in. It's like a deal or some sort of relationship that you're able to work with. Okay. That's nice. I'm put three more cards on this. Because you're surrounded with like love and stability here you get some sort of relationship offer guys like a relationship offer um that comes after a change though all right why so many people i just they so wants yeah yeah yeah, whoever is trying to apologize to you, someone is wanting to come back in and apologize and get things back on track, you may find that that is short-lived there if you decide to um, move forward with that situation. Or maybe you're actually just choosing to leave it alone altogether with that Eight of Cups. Whatever the case, this may not be something that is permanent for this time period. However, you do have something that is, that's coming in here, okay? It's like you're changing your mind about what you wanted about a certain relationship here, or someone is, because there's something here that you wanted with this person about um, maybe apologies or getting things back on track or whatever. It's just not happening the way that you expect or the way that you wanted at one point. So you're deciding to look forward to something else, and it's a major change. There's a major change here. We have the death card energy, okay? I see you being offered what you're wanting. I'm not getting too many details on that, but hopefully that's making sense, I guess, at least. Because there's something coming in here. Ace of Cups, that's new. Ace of Cups. It's like Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, all surrounding you in the future. So you just got to wait for this. It's coming in. All right, Aries, please. In between. All right, didn't you get that? I feel like you got that. Adaptability, see? You're in between some form of change or a decision here, and I feel like the in-between is where we feel the most uncomfortable as humans, right? It's like having to make that decision here kind of like okay so should i stay here or do i go somewhere else remember these cards for you we pulled 
um, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands? Or do I wait for something else, something good that's coming to me? Because it is. So if you're questioning that and if you're feeling really uncomfortable where you are, just keep that in mind and know that you do have what you're seeking that is coming in. Maybe it's not from the same type of energy, but it could be um, in a different form if you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. The in between here is, yeah, that's kind of where you are, what we're picking up in this reading because that change hasn't happened yet. So just know that it is happening. There's change on the horizon. There's um, a love offer coming your way. This is an offer of stability. It's like a big one. Okay, you're gonna have to, I feel, I feel you're needing to make a decision. So, Yep. You, I feel you could do it both ways, but it's what you feel you're going to be most happy with. You know what I mean? So I feel you could make whatever you want work. Um, you just have to decide where you're going to be most happy, most fulfilled, um, what is more meaningful or whatever that means to you, you know, where you can have more growth, where you can grow as a person, experience life, whatever it is that you're seeking here, Aries, you're going to have to choose accordingly. <laughs> Something more um, mature, okay? Bottom of the deck, the joy permeated mother. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. Yeah, this is kind of you making your decision on your own accord here and with your own mind, with everything that you know and everything that you expect will happen is I feel like you, you're well-rounded in whatever situation this is. You kind of know where you're going to be heading here or you will be very soon, okay? That's kind of like um, listen to your own advice is what this is saying. So it's kind of like guide yourself through this because I feel, like I just said, I feel you can make either way work for you. It just really depends on what you're looking for because I feel there's two different things here, you know? All right. Lady of the Lotus born. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. So this is an upgrade. Getting energetic upgrades here. Yeah, you're going through an awakening and a change. Interesting, look at that. She has a skull right there. That makes me think of the death card energy we just pulled here. It's like you're embodying some sort of change. Okay. All right, guys. Yep, trust yourself. You know what you're doing. I love you so very much. Hope it was helpful in any way possible in the entire world. If so, hit the like. But also, you can feel free to check your other placements, your friends' placements, your mothers, your lovers, your neighbors, even peeping Tom down the street. Check his placements too. So we know what he's up to. I love you guys so very much. Kisses.